And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They've set the first half tone by really getting out in transition. You know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. Good on the second free throw. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Pause with the rebound. They've been getting out muscled on the boards before coming up with that one. Not playing tough enough. The physicality just hasn't been there yet. Now Mary. Right now averaging 11 points a game. Kicks it out to Paul. Six to shoot. There's Crawford with the three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. 12 points for Crawford. You know, he's showing some kind of a killer instinct this quarter, trying to stretch this lead out. Here's Mr. Fundamentals, defended by Paul. Kelly passes to Mr. Fundamentals. Shoots from the baseline, and that one comes up a bit short. No breathing room at all to take that shot. Scola sets a screen for Paul. Kicks it to Crawford. Clippers moving the ball around. From 13, and Chris Paul the bucket on the assist by Marion. Eight points for Chris Paul. Chris Paul has got that hot hand going. Lakers trail by three. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. And again, no good by the Lakers. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. Los Angeles shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. No good on the free throw. And the Lakers have not defended. Cover somebody. He can be on the ball. He really understands Checked in for Los Angeles. Griffin comes in for Luis Scola. And the Lakers with some changes. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. They're knocking down the open shots and really getting a nice flow to their game. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Mr. Fundamentals, he's in at point guard. Randall and Hill are the four and five. Kobe is out there with Aminu. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Don't usually see him shooting the three. Aminu's got five now. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Here's Paul. 13 points in the game. Riven sets the screen for Mary. going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Well, we can't say enough about the passing of this group lately. The leading setup men among the league's two guards over the past 10 games. Third is Jamal Crawford. And what that group has a great understanding of is the importance of ball movement. They can really all create their own shot, but they're superb setup men as well. You know, I enjoy seeing that mindset in the shooting guard where basically you're saying, I'm going to attack at all times, but if it's not there for me, I can drop a dime on you just as easily. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. Marion with it. Al Farouk Amino covering. Marion kicks to Crawford. The dish now to Paul. A three ball. And he gets it to go. Paul's got the lead up to five now for Los Angeles. Well, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. And Griffin sends it back. Here's Randall. Cannot hit. Great D that time from Griffin. The Clippers have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. 
Always going up for the alley-oop here. Hammers the alley-oop through. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. And so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. Well, when you think of the great playmakers in league history, John Stockton per game averaged double-digit dimes. Think of this. For his career, 15,806 career assists, a record you knew right off would stand for a very long time. And he wasn't really a, a flashy passer like a lot of the great playmakers you think of, but just always in control. Kind of an old-school game, but one that was tremendously successful over the course of his almost two decades with the Utah Jazz. The first free throw is good. Falls, so he hits both of them. Los Angeles leading by five. Paul outside. Into Jordan. Out to the right wing. From the arc. And another three from Paul. Paul's got a pair of triples in the second out for Los Angeles. The Lakers have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Inside, deflects the pass. Randall comes up empty down low. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Here's Griffin. Cashes in for a double-digit lead. And it's a 10-point clipper lead. It looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was a real struggle. But he's got hey, guys, this crowd has paid good money for tickets. Let's give them something to remember tonight. A moment here now to see the numbers for Sean Marion. How his last 10 games have gone. He's averaging 10 points per game, five rebounds, and three assists. And some pretty good numbers, I think, guys, when you look overall at his contribution. Yeah, and he's always looking to raise his game, and that's what you see in his consistency. One of the important characteristics that he brings to the table. Marion with the double team on the wing, Kobe. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. So a moment now to check out the story of Blake Griffin. What a string of games he's put together here lately. I mean, he's in high gear. Check out the stat. He was eighth in scoring. And, of course, he's in the top 15 in rebounding. So a very strong presence in the paint. And you don't become a top 10 scorer, Steve, without a variety of offensive moves and a whole bunch of tricks in your bag. So he makes for wonderful highlights the way he can score. And he knocks down the first one. Well, I think that the Lakers need to change their strategy against Crawford. 13 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. Clark some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. They need this. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Mr. Fundamentals. The Clippers have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're 5 for 9. Paul outside. Dishes it to Crawford. Six to shoot. Back to Marion. It's stolen by Aminu. Deflects the pass. Here's Mr. Fundamentals again, Los Angeles. Well, offensively, he's taken a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. Los Angeles leading by eight. Throws it up high. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, guys. Mr. Fundamentals in their last game against the Suns was superb. He had 52 points and seemed to be seeing the action in slow motion, piling up a huge amount of assists. 
absolutely amazing numbers from him in what was truly a memorable performance for him and for us, Kevin. Thanks, Doris, for revisiting what was an astounding performance, Clark. It clearly was one of those games that when we look back on his career, this game will be right there among the best ever that he's played. Well, he was in the zone from the outset. It was just one of those games where he was feeling it. Everything was, was going his way, and, and he attacked, and that's what I like. Once he knew it was his night, he just attacked relentlessly. This is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line right here. Paul kicks to Griffin. The drive by Paul, and Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. You know, they've done a lot of things right in this game, but one thing they have to improve on is their ball security. They've been lucky. They've had a lot of turnovers, but some of those mistakes just haven't come back to haunt them, but that could change in a hurry. Mr. Fundamentals passes to Hill. Marion with the steal. He dishes it to Jordan. Paul kicks to Marion. Back to Paul. Clippers moving the ball around. Crawford, no one around him. No good on the three. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Crawford with the steal. Paul with the ball. He's got 19. Marion kicks to Crawford. Now here's Paul. Pass to Marion. Just five on the clock. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's the risky run by staying out there as he picks up his third. Lakers trail by six. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Cooper's foul. Great shooting for him at the foul line tonight. Seven of seven. Two shots. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. Well, you really have to admire and like the way that he's taking it to the defense right now. Clippers leading by five. And here is Paul. 19 points in the game. Feeds to Crawford. Griffin a screen on Kobe. Crawford kicks to Marion. Shot clock at six. Paul outside. And again, no good by the Clippers. Lakers trail by five. Down low. Bryant can't get it to go. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Here's Jordan. Off the mark, and the drop continues. He's far too tentative in the paint, and even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Los Angeles making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Lakers substitution. And Davis. Rando passes to Mr. Fundamentals. to Davis and stolen by Jordan. Ball against Kobe. Griffin attacking. Goes back up and a good offensive board and he gets the button. Griffin's got 12. He's having quite the quarter here guys. I mean shooting the ball extremely well. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Jordan with the rebound. Clippers leading by seven. Riven sets the screen for Mary, and he lobs it up toward the rim. Paul dishes to Jordan, tries from 10, misses off the right iron. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 43% from the field. Here's Aminu, and he gets it to go. Seven points in the game. 
Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. The Clippers shooting 40% since the beginning of the second quarter. Ball's knocked loose. 